Hi, my name is Bruce Davidson. We're here today in Prague to make a small documentary on the Prague Fringe Festival. Some of my colleagues are performing in a production called The Pen and the Sword, also written by a friend of mine called Jeff Kellner. Later today, we'll take the camera and we'll go and interview these guys, try to get an understanding as to why they chose Prague, as you can see it's such a beautiful city, and why they've decided to live here and produce plays and films in English. So that's it for now. We'll catch up with you later when we're around in the theater. So here we are outside the Vadlo in the Pradley, uh, just getting ready to interview Mr. Kellner and ask him a few questions about uh, how he thinks it's going for him here in Prague and why he chose this city to put on the premiere production of his play. Hello, this is Jeff Kellner. I am an American writer living in the Czech Republic. My play, The Pen and Sword, premiered here in Prague at the Prague Fringe Festival 2009 at Divadlo na Pradle. I've been in Prague four years with a one year, a half year stint in England, interrupting that four years. And was that the inspiration for the play, your time in the UK? Yes, yes. I worked for the British Transport Police, so I saw how terrorism had impacted the, um, the public security system uh, apparatus of, of England. And I was actually quite amazed, uh, even though they were terrific concerns, um, amazed how life went on in the country despite all the, the security cameras. Do you have an opinion about the subject matter of the play? I mean, because the play never really drew any conclusions and very cleverly left it open for the yes. public design, but would you like to stay there or do you have a, a feeling about the content? I, I'm trying to be as objective as possible. But I, I just, I myself came to the kind of startling conclusion, despite believing in freedom of speech, I also at the same time believe we have to be careful with whatever speech we choose because it can in turn incite and, and inflame people. Uh, we all know the, the dangers of, of, of screaming theater in a crowded fire. And, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, did I get that? I got that wrong. <laughs> Uh, we all know the dangers. Peter Hosking, Australian actor, currently resident in Prague for about 18 months. How do you find it here in Prague, Pete? Very nice. Yeah? Quite a nice extended holiday. So I understand you're involved in uh, the Pen and Sword production. What's your role in this? Uh, Jeff Kellner asked me to direct it. Uh -huh. and, uh, I had this guy lined up to play the policeman and he, he suddenly had a job in Israel, so uh, I had to step in and do that myself. So it's actor-director, which is it's been an interesting challenge. Was your, was your first time as a director? My first time as a director. How's it, how's it going? It's going well because, um, you know, 30 years in the business I've been directed by some very good and some very bad directors, so I've sort of seen how it works when people do it right and do it wrong, so it's just felt like an extension of acting to me, really. Well, I do think a large part of the problem could be solved by a more sensible approach to sex and women. Ah, sex and women. The cause and answer to all of life's problems. <laughs> well, there you go, sir. And worst comes to the worst, it'll give you some inspiration for your next cartoon. Hi, my name's Adam Stewart, and I'm in The Pen and Sword at the Prague Fringe. I'm playing a character called James Abraski, who's a, a political cartoonist. Oh. Hello? Uh, yes, who is it? Mr. Monk from the Metropolitan Police Can I have a moment? Um, yes, certainly.
it's a, it's a really interesting play. Um, it deals with, with religion and politics. Um, the, the cartoonist that I play uh, has a fatwa against him. Um, and the play kind of goes through how he deals with that and how people that he knows in his life deal with that situation and what they think. And it, it, we never actually find out in the play what the, what the result is, what he decides to do. Should he apologise for the cartoon? Should he continue to, to write the cartoon? And it, and it goes through that journey, his sort of journey of what he de decides to eventually do. Uh, well, my name is James Lambert. I'm 37 years old. I've been living here in Prague for about nine years. And uh, this is my second production this year uh, as Nick Shine in The Pen and Sword. Listen, I have a very important meeting right now, so I'll give you a call at 10 o'clock your time tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. He's a literary agent for the uh, political cartoonist James Obraski, who, uh, unfortunately for him, has a fatwa placed upon him for a incendiary political cartoon that he has drawn that has upset a uh, radical cleric of sorts. I think that ultimately the production leads you towards the idea that maybe self-censorship might be the better way to go, as more often than not, uh, the, the, the faith in question might be more likely to be misinterpreted than the uh, political cartoon itself. Hello, my name's Jerry Turner. I am playing the father of the, of the, uh, of the main character who is a Pole born in the north of England sometime after the war. We imagine his father must have remained behind with the, with the troops. But you were always like this. It's nothing new to me. I was always like this. Like what? You were always mouthing off. What I find is what it says interesting is about uh, it said the difference between faith and, and religion. That uh, faith and religion are often two different things. And faith is a private matter, and uh, and it's well presented here as, as something that uh, um, can be misused a, a, as a religion and uh, can give rise to violence. My name is Antares Falcon. I am a native French. I've been in the Czech Republic for about uh, eight years now and got into acting four years, seriously acting four years ago. In this production, I play the Roger part, which is a, a converted uh, Islamist. You think I should withdraw the cartoon, don't you? Withdraw the cartoon and make an apology. As I said, I cannot make that decision for you. I think, I think the play is pretty objective, actually very objective, because um, there is no mentioning of any kind of religion. It is only subjective. <laughs> And for that reason, uh, I took the part. Did you say that after 7-7, for those of us of the darker persuasion, the honeymoon in England came to an end? I can imagine. For a time, I even had to shave my beard so that the angry stares on the street would decrease. When I carried my bag on the tube, everyone thought I had a bomb in it. And did you? Sorry. First time acting in the fringe and first time on stage.